Welcome back to the Home Lab. We're going to look at a really unusual use of physics today. We're going to look at a carbonated drink that doesn't need a screw cap or a cork to keep it fizzy. So those of you that know me know I like to tell stories and there's quite a good story as to how this video came about. So I was walking around the local area here and there's a lot of mine spoil around in areas that are undeveloped. And I saw sticking out of the ground this bottle. And you'll notice, I keep pencils in it now, but you'll notice that it's missing its top. The top has disappeared and been broken off. And for those of you that know, I immediately recognised this type of bottle and also I knew why the top was missing. So, to begin with, I'm going to explain why that is. So, finding this broken bottle immediately reminded me of my youth. And as a young child, I used to collect glass bottles. Now, that seems rather odd in this day and age. Uh, but back in the day, the bottles that you could dig up and find in antique shops were really rather interesting. And the one that really intrigued me was the cod bottle. And um, the cod bottle, these are all cod bottles, has a little glass marble in it. And if you uh, understand what that marble's for, you'll see that there's some physics behind how this bottle keeps the drink fizzy. But of course, the bottle I found recently had the top missing from it. And I think you can guess what happened there. Children who had these bottles many, many years ago used to break the tops off to get the marble. And even though you got some money back when you handed them back, Many kids thought it was better to smash them and steal the marble. So many of them have been broken, but there are a great deal that still exist. So what I'm going to do now is talk a little bit more about the cod bottle and the physics behind it and how it works. And then a rather surprising thing that happened to me after telling someone that I'd found this broken bottle locally. So the cod bottle was introduced in about the 1870s by Hiram Cod, who invented this rather unusual way of sealing a bottle with a marble to keep the fizziness of the carbonated drink inside. And they were in regular use right up until the um, 1930s. In fact, uh, my father told me a story when I was a child that he remembers having them at a picnic before the war and the fun as a child of opening the bottles. And in a minute, I'm going to show you the really fun way that you get into them and get the drink out. So I wouldn't be making this video just by holding the bottle up, probably not an awful lot to see. But there's a tiny bit more to the story that I put this picture up on uh, the Internet on a local uh, history group. And a woman on the group said, oh, yeah, yeah, I know those cod bottles. Um, you can still buy them. And I thought, what? You can still buy them. And um, they went out in the 1830s. And I certainly never had uh, a chance to use one when I was a child. She said, oh, yeah, yeah, you can get those in the local supermarket. I think they're in the Japanese section. So I whizzed over to a local supermarket. And there indeed was a modern version of the cod bottle with exactly the kind of stopper that I'm showing you here, a marble. So what we'll do is we'll open one of these up. We'll pour the drink out and try some, and I'll show you the clever physics that's going on to seal this bottle without using a cork or a screw cap. So let's open this modern cod bottle. And the marble is actually at the top of the bottle, held in by the gas pressure. And we'll talk about the physics of that in a minute. So what we've got to do is we've got to push the marble down against the gas pressure and open up the bottle so we can get at the drink. Now, on the top, it looks like there's a cork or a screw cap or a seal here. But in fact, this is just a plastic device that helps us push the marble in. My dad said uh, back in the day there wasn't really anything like that. You could actually get a little wooden tool to do it with a little prong on it. But in fact, what most children did and they really enjoyed it was to open the bottle. They got their thumb and pushed really hard and broke the seal and the ball fell into the bottle and they could have their drink. 
Um, but with the modern ones, I found that I can't get enough force on there with my thumb. So we're going to have to use the tool that comes with the bottle to push the ball out of the way. OK, so let's open our bottle and have a little drink. So I've got to remove the packaging off the top. You wouldn't have had this in the old days. Um, they would have come just uh, unwrapped, as it were. But I think I explained to you the reason for this um, plastic on the top is the fact that here is a little thing to help you open the bottle. Now, you can see uh, the marble on the top there pushed into uh, the cap and the cap on this is plastic. Um, so it doesn't need that uh, fiber washer. And then in here, I've got the little device to open it and I just click that out and that ring goes. And then uh, this looks rather like the little wooden tool that some people used back in the day to open cod bottles. So I've tried pushing my thumb on these and had no success. So we're going to put this on top and I'm going to push really hard and let's see what happens. So here we go. It's quite tough this and you'll hear the fizz and hopefully it won't go everywhere. And listen out for the glass ball uh, opening the seal, the pressure becoming atmospheric on the top and the bottom and the ball falling uh, down here into the neck. So three, two, one. There we go. And there's the fizz. And let's pour ourselves a little bit of a drink. But as we do it, Notice these notches in the side, because if you think about it, if you invert the bottle, uh, the uh, ball that's in there is going to block the opening. So what we do is we trap the ball in those notches. Uh, the cod bottle had those as well and pour ourselves a nice fizzy drink. So before we finish, a quick physics explanation of how this system works. So uh, in the bottle, you've got the, uh, the ball and a very, very fizzy drink. And the way the bottle is filled is such that the marble is at the top of the bottle. Now, I don't understand how they do this, but I presume what they do is they fill them inverted. Then when you tip them the other way around, the gas pressure above the uh, drink that's in there will push the marble hard up against the top of the bottle. Now, if you think about it, if the pressure is bigger inside the bottle than the atmospheric pressure outside, there's a resultant force upwards on the ball. And the pressure is likely to be bigger inside because there's pressurized CO2 gas. Now, it's at room temperature. So for those of you that know, the gas is still going at the same average velocity. But there's more gas, in other words, the, or more correctly, the gas is more dense. So there are more gas particles per second hitting the ball and forcing it up than there are from the atmosphere forcing it down. So as long as the bottle doesn't leak, the ball will stay in place and keep the drink fizzy. Now, one of the problems with this method, of course, is that the seal between the marble and the top of the bottle is not very good. So if you look closely at cod bottles, there's a sort of ring inside the lip. The lip's actually an applied lip, which means that the bottle was blown and you can actually see the sort of breakage of where it was blown on the blowpipe. And then the lips put on afterwards and inside the lip was a little fiber washer and that fiber washer helped keep the seal. Now, it's extremely rare to find uh, bottles with the fiber washers in them, but I'll take a close up of this one or is it the other one? It's this one um, that actually still has a fiber washer sitting in it. So you can see the washer that used to seal the glass ball to the top of the bottle to keep the drink fizzy. So I do hope you enjoyed that video on the rather unusual and fun cod bottle. I'll be making another video soon, so I hope you'll join me then. Do stay to the end of this video because I always, on all my video, leave loads of links. And if you liked it, do like and subscribe. Anyway, see you next time. Cheers.